We are folding gift wrapping paper into this. Now, I definitely had my doubts as to whether this thing blown up 10 times would be able to hold itself together, but the end result turned out pretty nice. This is a hyperbolic paraboloid, made from this square pleated crease pattern. And to make something like this, you first fold the diagonals, then do mountain valley pleats parallel to the sides. Once you have this, you collapse the whole thing, and the paper naturally wants to pop into this shape. So this is a relatively simple crease pattern that yields an interesting result. But the question that mathematicians asked was, well, what exactly is this shape? Well, about a decade ago, a group of mathematicians and computer scientists got together to try and figure this out. What they discovered was surprising. This crease pattern actually does not exist. Or at least, it couldn't be folded if the paper was completely rigid and only allowed to bend at the creases. So then, what's this? Like, I'm holding this crease pattern right here. Well, no one knows for sure, but we do believe that it is because paper is soft. Paper bends along these lines. And in the simulator, this is achieved by adding in these magenta creases. They tell the software that the paper is allowed to bend here. shape this actually is, but the truth is, I told you at the very beginning, this is a hyperbolic paraboloid, and in terms that you might be more familiar with, this is the shape of a Pringle. So the most delicious origami ever? I don't know, you decide. And the authors of the previously mentioned paper figured it out by using this crease pattern and rigid origami assumptions. Starting from the center, they were able to triangulate the x, y, and z coordinates for each vertex and work their way outwards to get this from simulation. Then it was just a simple matter of comparing to the known formula and they were very close. So yeah, this is a Pringle. I wouldn't necessarily recommend eating it though. But I guess it's not really my place to tell you what you should and shouldn't eat. So yeah, that was the hyperbolic paraboloid. One slight complication though, we don't actually know if this is a real hyperbolic paraboloid or not because we don't exactly know how the paper bends between these creases, but we do think it's close enough and I have the full paper linked in the description for you guys to check it out. I also have my Discord server linked in the description if you guys want to join this wonderful community of origami enthusiasts. If you have origami ideas to send me, the Discord server is actually your best bet because I do scroll through those ideas periodically. And besides that, like, comment, subscribe. You guys know what to do. See you guys in the next video. Oh, also, I wanted to say that sorry about the month's long hiatus. I do have a lot of origami ideas planned. I took a computational origami class this semester and I'm just starting to get my hands wet in, hands wet, my feet wet in the nano fabrication of our origami devices. So be on the lookout for videos on all both of those topics and obviously the more traditional origami stuff I did a few months for my first few videos also hold. So yeah, lots of cool video ideas. I hope to deliver them soon. No promises. Bye guys.